Sending simulated keystrokes in Bash. I've recently been trying to write a script that can be used to automate my C++ program in Bash. If you know Altoit, I can simply show you an example of what I'm trying to do. Or... Okay for those who do not speak Altoit. The first example sends a simulated, one, keystroke followed by an enter, CR. The second example sends auto. I'm specifically trying to do this in Bash. No other scripting language will do. Also, I would not prefer a spoon feed. Please specify how to write it. No writing the script for me is allowed. You're looking for Stotol. Stotol's equivalent of your example commands are To fit text into a program stain, use pipes and or redirection. In case of interactive CLI programs, not for terminal ones, it is possible to use name pipes or coprocesses as a sort of poor man's expect, which you ruled out due to being TCL. Be careful when reading from the output pipe, e.g. head minus one won't just read one line, it will buffer one full 4k block, print one line, discard the rest. A favorite of mine is Tmux. Warning, some level of spoon feeding here, though the question is old enough that the original author would no doubt have completed what they originally intended. You can easily launch Tmux in the background, launching an application. Tmux provides an API to send keystrokes to the application, as well as connect the application to the terminal if you want to interact with it. Example $UID for 253D00343211 EB9984CB2258F7048. New session, D, S super create a new session called super in the background, D. Note, S to new session names the session. I haven't named an application to run, so a shell is launched. Send keys, T super column command, enter, send the keystrokes. Tmux understands many keywords like enter, pgup, escape, etc., otherwise sending UTF and raw codes via send keys, T super column dollar command backslash n also works. Note that T refers to a target which includes session, column, window ID, column, pane hashtag. Since I have only the default window and pane, I leave them blank and refer only to the session. If I know there were no other sessions running, I could leave out T entirely. Capture pane, T super column, S, a start, E, end, P copies the contents of the window. By default, panes are captures to internal buffers you can save, or paste to other windows. The P causes the contents to be piped to the screen. Note the captured data can be much longer than a screenfall. The best part is, if you have left the application or session running, Tmux attach, T super column will drop you into the running session so you can interact with the application. Many people use Tmux to launch long-running interactive programs as a background service they can attach to later, or as part of an automated test solution.